Kyle here from All Media Reviews, here to do another Kevin Gilbert Thud Track, number three. This time it's going to be Joy, uh, Joy Town, um, different versions. Uh, so I want to make sure I'm <laughs> trying to face the camera. That's one of my problems I'm still trying to remind myself of. But, um, so, okay. Grand total of one, two, one, two, th um, three... Four, five. Well, let's just count here. Okay, so there's the standard version, of course, which is four minutes and fifty-seven seconds on the Thud on the, the the standard Thud album, which is on Spotify. There's also a version, an acoustic version, or Joytown acoustic, on the vinyl, which I'm completely guilty of and have never heard, and uh, I can't even verify how long it is. I mean, I have to open this up. Maybe I'll edit that in or something. Um, so then there's two, at least, there's, well, actually, the, okay. There's thought it, There's also this ver version, Joytown Acoustic version on Nuts from 2009. There's the Joytown Acoustic on Thud Acoustic, which came out a couple years ago. KMG Archives in like 2022, I think it was. 2023. And... Yeah, okay, so then there's, there's, okay, there's two different versions, I, I wrote so many notes down, unfortunately, but I didn't, um, well, there's, so, like, the lengths on those are, here, that's maybe an easier way to do it, the lengths on those are, uh, the version on, on, um, Thought Acoustic, they're all about the same. Um, I'll just be honest, there's three acoustic versions that I've heard, and they all between four, four minutes and 28, four minutes and 29 seconds, four minutes and 28 seconds, four minutes and 31 seconds. They all sound almost the same. The, the, the version on here, the, the version on Thought Acoustic, the version on, on Nuts, the version on Thought Acoustic, and then, um, I think there's a version on the Anniversary. Yes, there is. There's also a... But they're all the same. There's only one slight difference. So then there's two other versions. One of them's on the 20th anniversary. That's the um, the full mix unedited. And that one is... I wrote all this stuff down, of course. <laughs> um, I thought I wrote the time down on that one. Um, well, one's 813 and one's... So then there's a version on Thought Alternate, too. And that one is... Um, the, uh, where is it? Weird Hand Mix. So, let's see if I can get this. I wrote this down, and I wrote too many things down. It's like I'm trying to read my notes. The one that's alternate is the Weird Hand Mix. And this is 8 minutes and 13 seconds. The, um, full edited or unedited mix is on, um, one of the second or third discs on the, the anniversary. So, all right, so now getting into the details. Um... Now, I didn't even introduce what my take on Joytown. So I was just thinking about this today. Joytown, to me, is actually in a lot of ways the signature Kevin Gilbert track as a solo artist. And for Thud, not only for Thud, for Thud it is to me, I think of it, I think of Thud, I think of Joytown almost entirely always first because it's a stripped down acoustic, very lyrical song. It's a singer-songwriter song, um, though it has a lot of other things to it. But I think it, in some ways it's like the sort of face of Kevin Gilbert's solo career in a lot of ways. Um, I've always, I mean, I've liked it. I grew to like it a lot more. I think the biggest reason I just found the lyrics to be so moving and just, it's just, it's just so, they're so well-crafted. It's poetry. It sounds like something he's reading at a, like a, he's like a beat poet. It really does sound like a, he's like a beat poet reading it, among other things. So, all right, um, getting into some of the details. So, in the acoustic versions, at least the on the one on the Thud Acoustic, again, I'm trying to um, <laughs> my props and everything straight here. On the Thud Acoustic, this one, and I believe on, and also the one on um, on Nuts. Both of those acoustic versions, 
he like counts in. He he goes hmm, and then counts in. Now they cut the the one that one of them is four twenty. That's okay. So the the acoustic one he doesn't go hmm, but this one he go the one on nuts he goes hmm and counts in one two three four and then must be on the, the version that's on here. Also he does that. Um, and I'm you know again I'm of the assumption that the version that's on the vinyl here is basically the same as those two, because it's acoustic. Um, the vocals are a bit sleepy, kind of Dylan-like. Bob Dylan-like reminds me at points. Compared to even, like, the standard version, his vocals, he's a little sleepy again, but I think that's maybe intentional. It's not like he's being lazy. He, he did that intentionally. Um, there's also jo the joy and town harmonies on those. I think all three of them, at least two of the three, that I think maybe NDV, like, Nick Virgilio did, um, between, like, the parts of the third verse. So, um, of course, it's stripped down with basically acoustic guitar, not really any djembe, uh, but it's a shaker is really prominent, although it's, that's kind of prominent on all the versions, but I think you hear it more. And then there's some tablas, I think, but some twangy guitar, um... Yeah, and then he does the whole joy, joy, joy town. Um, again, the, the, the Dylan-like thing. So, okay. Um, all right, now moving on to the bigger ones. And this is where the real meat of where the differences are. Because, again, you look at the three joy town acoustics, and I'm assuming the fourth one that's on the, the, the thud, of, thud vinyl. Yeah, they're really not that different. They're, it sounds like a stripped-down version. I'm sure when he played uh, like those shows with NDV or just by himself, he would do, and they're almost indistinguishable. The arrangement and the way he's singing the vocal parts and sort of the, the tempo and everything. So, because the, the standard version is a, a little faster tempo than the, those acoustic versions, for the most part. Um, all right, so getting on, going on to the Thud 20th anniversary, uh, full mix slash unedited. So, you got different lyrics in here at points. So, um... There's a couple subtle differences in the lyrics. He says um, the word and a couple more times that actually are written on the standard version, I believe. Either that or the lyrics on Spotify aren't correct. Because he goes, and mothers always make sure everyone is happy and well-fed. It doesn't say that on the lyrics online. He uses the word and later in the different um, parts of each, each verse. And then he says, like, um, with a, a slightly less accent... A Paul McCartney song. Like he says on the standard version on Thud, a Paul McCartney song. And it, he's really large, just like a Paul McCartney song. It, it, it's just like subtle. Um, he used the words it's again, and then he repeats the city of the sun. Of course, the city of the sun, you know, I've always thought about the, and he, Kevin just had to repeat a lot of phrases frequently. You know, man about town and whatever. City of the sun's a song on the shaming of the true. I don't know how blatantly connected that song title and the, the from when he wrote joy town joy town was written and using the city of the sun but um probably some connections and then there's some extra la la la's you know on, i've noticed on that it, this is the very beginning of it so the line you know there's a line about senator mccarthy it basically repeats one of the verses in a way or he kind of re he, he uses it a second time but changes some of the verses in this extended version he goes senator mccarthy tosses down a book by marx and he's not saying it shockingly the way he does in the second when it's repeated. Instead of enjoys a book by Marx, people pare down parking lots so they can build more parks. I mean, he said that's the same. His voice sounds higher on that. I don't know why it is. It just does that. The performance, his voice is, it seems like a little bit higher pitched, not dramatic, but a little bit. Um, then he go and when he sings uh, again with less emphasis, less shock, just sort of nonchalantly in some ways he sings the line and martin luther king has got a blonde white girlfriend um yeah i mean he doesn't scream it so then he brings it back and then so then he has a line that's added that's completely different not on the, any of the other versions uh, or just on one other version the longer versions black and white make gray red and yellow just make brown and gray and brown make love in in the I think it's in the I think I meant to say in the streets in, in the streets of Joy Town. So that part was caught or not not used. Then he goes into Jesus and Muhammad, which is on the standard and all the other you know, the acoustic versions. Um, the word bruise. I could be wrong about this, but he says over cigarettes and brew instead of bruise or brew. I 
All I know is one of them, he doesn't sound like it has an S on the end. It's not plural. So then it gets really layered and trippy. Um, although it's still very kind of, it's still an acoustic stripped down song, but it gets kind of trippy about halfway through. And then he brings up that, the, the verse that's used in the, in the, you know, standard version on Thud. Senator McCarthy enjoys a book by Marx. Uh, the, um, right. But the guitars get really trippy in the background at that point. And... Um, and then he doesn't use the word we'll never tell you we're pl you're playing the right notes. So some chanting harmonies. And then, of course, and then there's some sax on that. I, it's just limited on the, 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 the standard thud that was released. But um, the sax solo is is longer. Uh, and he, he kind of just goes joy and then stops in town and it ends. So, um, yeah, I think that, okay, no, there's a couple more details I have. Repeats the words, living here in Joytown, City of the Sun, the City of the Sun a second time. Loves every single one. I'd like to, then he goes, because he's kind of bringing that verse back, I guess. Then he goes, I'd like to go to A. And I don't know, or it sounds for a while. Is it A or Abe? A-B-E. I'm not sure what he's saying that I can't make it out. I'd have to put on headphones. I wasn't able to do that. But it sounds like A. I'd like to go to A for a while. Kind of nonchalantly. This is toward the end. It's like very free jazz. Then Kevin sounds like he's mumbling. Yeah. And he does this thing where he sounds like he's mumbling. Home ma, home ma, home ma. I don't know if that's what he's saying. But dissonant tripping. This whole section's very trippy with the sax over it. Um, and um, yeah, he says something. And he says something else. But with, with, this almost sounds like a key or some guitar tone, electric guitar tone. Yeah, it's very much like it's like two and a half minutes of free jazz with the sax sort of being the lead. There's bass guitar, of course. Um, then he eventually says joy to the world, joy, and stops and says town. So that's that basically that it's like an extended, more trippy version of the standard with some extra verses. So that was that's the version on here. So then I was thinking because the, the, that clock's in at eight minutes and ten seconds. The version that was just released a couple months ago on Thud Alternate is 8 minutes and 13 seconds, so it's pretty much the same length. It's almost identical. This is what, known as the weird hand mix, though. Um, for one thing, he says Paul McCartney song. He like extends the word song out a little bit. But I'm listening to this, and I'm thinking, this is really not that different than the extended, um, you know, unedited mix that was on, anniversary, on the uh, 20th anniversary book. But... Um, the part, let's see here. Yeah, he's holding some notes out longer a little bit. And then, you know, let's see. Around 545, this is the big part that's different. He adds another verse or another lyric that's not in the unedited mix or the standard or the acoustics. No one carries a tune anymore. No one carries their weight. No one ever eats the things that are put down on their plate, which... You know, I was just thinking about it. And then he says, no one ever thinks about the good things that they have seen. No one ever stops to think about the way they poke, the way they breen. I don't know what that really means, uh, living here in Joytown. Those lines, to me, in terms of, like, ideology and the mentality and the tone, not that it sounds negative, but they, they evoke sort of, like, the opposite of what the sort of utopic, utopia sort of envision of what the way Joytown is. That's what kind of, I'm wondering why this is like a, this is like a bizarro version or some, some added lyric that would have been for like a, you know, the darker version of Joytown. You wouldn't call it not so Joytown or frown town. I don't know. Anyway, but I mean, it's not super negative. I just think that the, the message when you're saying no one carries a tune anymore, that's sad. No one carries their weight. That's not so good. No one ever eats the things that, that are put down on their plate unless there's something else they want to eat. So um, anyway, a little bit like the end of shaming in some way. It's like, well, this is what happened. This is what I know. That's the story. Um, and then, um, yeah, he goes, he, he adds that line, I'd like to go to A again, or Abe for a while. I don't know what that's referring to. That's what he's saying. Gets trippy. And then it just occurred to me, I, on that version, I think, and also on the unedited mix, there's some mandolin. It's just slight, but there's some picking for a, about tw maybe 15, 20 seconds of mandolin. Um... I remember thinking the sax is still being played, but the bass line, it's just plodding along, and he goes, joy to the world, all the boys and girls, joy, joy, and he repeats that, and then goes town, so, um, you know, this is, it's, again, it's a, a song, I, I think it's one of his, if not, 
Kevin's greatest lyrical works. I mean, he's got a lot of great lyrics. I, as much as he only has the catalog he has, he had a lot of music he wrote and recorded, but he only lived till he was 29. He wrote a lot of great lyrics. I think of this song not only as the face of Kevin Gilbert's music in some ways and thud, but also as the face of his ability as a lyricist. I just think it's very clever, very, very outspoken, but very not overtly like bad. I mean, it, you know, I don't know if it would create some kind of controversy if it was more well known. It might because of things saying like Martin Luther King has a blonde white girlfriend and um, Senator McCarthy enjoys a book by Marx. But, you know, you got to admire his ability to sort of come up with something that really was clever and, um, you know, observational and sort of what... It's a little bit like what I, I was just watching uh, this guy, Rick, something. He's been uploading the, the Mark and Brian shows. Shout out to him um, when Kevin was on there. And one of the... the, the I, I listened to one of the Thud versions talk about when you give your love to me. And I was like this... The world sucks, but in a great place, we get all, you know, things will get better because I love you. Um, it's, it's, it's Kevin's kind of ideal is that, you know, the world isn't that good, but, you know, this place I've envisioned, things are better. Things could be better. Things, you know, and um, he, I know he's very, you know, it's not subtle. He's not pulling any punches here, but he's doing it in such a very cerebral and observational and very thoughtful way um, that, you know, Joytown is a marvel. I mean, yeah, there's other songs I'd probably lean toward more from a lot of other respects of catchiness, melodies, just arrangement-wise even. But Joytown is just a master class in being able to kind of create some sort of vibrant, thought-provoking, poetic images and it's a fantasy song i love fantasy songs it's like an escape it's like you know this is where i want to go in my mind kevin gilbert not here that we know is on this earth right now but he's in this place that he calls joytown or wherever the wherever it's supposed to be that's where he ascended to you know and because he knew about it because he find, found a way to channel it i don't know that a, a lot of me believes that and you know maybe someday that's where i'll end up myself so um Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Leave a comment. Uh, hit the notification bell to get notifications about that. Um, I'll be doing whatever the next one is. I think it's waiting. So, and that, that's a, a great, that, that, well, there's some fantastic stuff to talk about on, on that version. So, I don't know if it'll be later this week. Probably later this week because these are, these are a labor of love and I, I'm kind of atta I'm becoming attached to doing them. Even though they take some time, I, I really enjoy kind of, researching and taking in and understanding the music from someone I love so much anyways music so but again thank you for watching uh, please subscribe again if you haven't subscribed and we'll see you next time